Welcome back. This is Ravens Bullets, and I want to review this excellent game that's been keeping me up a lot of nights. Um, what's keeping me up about this is because the park builder. I didn't realize that I would be so addicted to this game. Um, it's fun. I'll tell you guys, it's super fun. Um, from building your own park um, in sandbox mode, which is like you have infinite money, which is a bonus. That's the only really cheat code they have to it. You can unlock um, it fairly, barely early. Um, there's 42 dinosaurs, I believe, in there. There's even uh, Fallen Kingdom dinosaurs in there. So you got the Dominus Rex. Uh, you have the Indoraptor, of course. Uh, don't put those two together to fight unless you want to see the results. Uh, I did some dino battles myself. There's five islands total, including uh, Site B, which is the... Um, no, five islands total, so I say fight B is there, uh, including the island where Jurassic World and Jurassic Park did take place on. So a lot of the challenges are you do have to play the other islands to unlock the dinosaurs and attractions to use in sandbox mode, because in sandbox mode, the only thing that's unlocked is infinite money. You don't have to worry about people dying in the park. Uh, you don't have to worry about your star rating. Um, you can use everything you unlocked in campaign, which is just hopping from island to island and doing various um, uh, quests, or you say, or mission objectives to complete them. There's like one island where you start bankrupt, so you have to like sell off all your stuff to get into the positive and the money. There's also another island where there's multiple storms. So you got to worry about power outages. Um, and then they have another island where there's pretty much everything on it and there's tornadoes so now you got you know storms that are damaging buildings you got tornadoes that are ripping through your park like watch out if it heads towards your uh, meat eater enclosure it's just hectic so and <laughs> there's another uh, site b has stegosaurus walking around that will occasionally harass your guests so you have to kind of like corner off your park which is kind of fun there's also a spinosaurus hidden in there um, so, um, I didn't want to spoil that for you, but there's a oh, spoiler in there. There is a part, there is one of the islands have dinosaurs already walking around for you. So, but they kind of harass your guests if they get into your park. So you want to help that up. You want to block that off. Uh, the hardest island is super, super tiny. It's one with storms and stuff all over the place. Um, it was the most difficult one for me. I unlocked pretty much all the dinosaurs and most of the exhibits. There's a couple things. There's like to five star islands it's really hard uh most the most you need to five star is a three star or right, most you need is, is to a three star an island to get to unlock the next island which is pretty fairly easy um it's major fun you got you know the triceratops pachysaurus you got the brontosaurus the velociraptors um spinosaurus t-rex um and all sorts of other dinosaurs that you know have been in the movie or you have not seen in the movie um it's you can drive jeeps you can fly the helicopter from the acu like in the movie but without the gatling gun they just have tranquilizer, tranquilizer darts um and you could drive a gyro spear which is kind of fun you can drive it off the off the rails and stuff and there's a the monorail you can build you can't drive that though um the one thing that's lacking that some people complain about is you can't walk around like a typical assumes and explore the park on foot you can drive your jeep uh, through the park and into the enclosures and take pictures like Pokemon Snap. That's kind of fun. Um, it's basically what it boils down to. It is a park creator uh, sim. You're you're basically trying to balance the budget and make these great themes for people, uh, rides and stuff for people to enjoy. And they pay you money and your park gets bigger and you make more dinosaurs. That's the whole thing about it. Um, you, but like I said, you can get up close and personal, but only in the Jeep uh, to tranquilize them, to heal them. Um, to take pictures uh you can also do that from the helicopter after a while that kind of gets old so then you just kind of like when a dinosaur breaks out or there needs to be a, a feeder replenished you just point click do that because it gets so there's so much like you can have like 10 di dinosaurs you don't want to be driving around while trying to do this um and while people are freaking out so um <laughs> You'll definitely want to uh, pull back like into RTS mode and basically manually select everyone and they'll automatically do their task assigned to them, um, which makes things a hell of a lot easier. Um, 
Also, it is fun to put other dinosaurs against each other. I, like I said, I did this whole dino battle royale. I'll probably do another one. Um, and what's exciting is they're gonna support this game. Um, they have some ideas. Uh, they're not uh, being against having the Mosasaurus dinosaur. The only dinosaur that's not in there is uh, the, the water dinosaur and no flying dinosaurs, unfortunately. So uh, hopefully future content that will be included in there. Um, it looks like the graphics look amazing. I give this game a nine out of 10. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 if it did have uh, the Mosasaurus and the flying dinosaurs. Um, but with them obviously putting adding more content into it, um, it'll be a little bit more enjoyable and I'll give it a 10, 10 out of it. But if you like Jurassic Park or any or dinosaurs or Jurassic World in general, I suggest you pick this up. It is retailed for a price of $60, but it's every penny worth it. I spent, like I said, six hours school go by, you're building a park, and I'm like, shit, what time is it? Oh my God, I just, oh, I just wasted six hours here. Uh, so it becomes a handful, but it's fun. And I'll catch you guys later.